Hey everybody, sorry about the small amount of a mess, but I've been working on computers lately a lot and I wanted to show you this HP Pavilion 23 inch all-in-one. So with this particular model we have a Western Digital 1TB hard drive and 6 gigs of DDR3 12800 RAM. Um, we are going to be upgrading this with a new thing of RAM, which I will be getting later on today, and a 480 gigabit, gigabyte uh, SSD. So uh, for this particular one we have to have an adapter tray because it's going from a 3.5 inch to a 2.5 inch hard drive and then we'll, we'll also be putting in the RAM but I have to do that a little bit later when I actually get it. So let's uh, get this thing open and look inside. Okay, so on this particular model, you have two screws at the bottom that when you back those out, this entire back shell will actually come off. So let me do that real quick and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I believe these are Phillips 2 size heads. The popping of them out of the actual shell is completely normal. Just go until it won't unscrew anymore, it just turns. And then Put this back. All you have to do is reach under the portions that are up, grab, push with your thumbs on the bottom, and just pull carefully. Sometimes it gives you a bit of beef to get it open. But it will pop just like that see these clips right here on the edge you got one two three four five six and seven of them that are clipped in down here that have to be pulled out of their sockets and then it just folds up like that and there's the guts set the shell off somewhere that it won't get broken and now what we are looking at right now is the motherboard and the hard drive. So from here, we can take that Phillips head again. And come over here to this little screw right here. This little screw right here. And unscrew it. Once that's unscrewed, this entire piece, this is fastened where it is, this entire piece will slide forward to this little nub right here, just like that. And then the entire thing can be removed. And then later on today when I get the RAM, what we will do is remove this plate 
right here there's a screw up here and a screw up here and then this entire thing will open off to the side and then there's ram sticks that you can possibly see right here there's one here and then this is an empty slot so we're going to put eight gigs here so it's running 12 gigs of ram with an ssd so let's get the hard drive unmounted and put the new one in Now we'll grab the SSD and get it installed. So to mount a 2.5 inch drive inside of a 3.5 inch bay, we have these adapter trays. We only need one. Oh, and they now start coming apparently with uh, tray, or I mean wire holders and tray mounts, that's nice. We only need one. So what we'll do is we will end up mounting this right in here. I don't know which way just yet. But let's grab the uh, screws out of this. Which we probably won't need the silver ones, just the uh, black ones. Open this. So basically, it has to mount like so, upside down, where this smaller one is on this side. So it'll mount like this. So what we'll need to do, because this is the screw over here, is we'll mount this like this. That way the ports are open. Screw that to the bottom. Apparently they give you one extra screw just in case. And then this will mount inside of this to make it a 3.5 inch. And I'm kind of thinking, let me double check something. Okay, it does fit. Yeah, so I was right. We won't need the silver ones. We'll use the originals. But you gotta align this in here to where you can see the screw holes this back in <clears throat> A 
and now it's all mounted. So we'll go ahead and slide That is not going to work. Okay, we have a problem. Because the drive needs to be further forward than what it is. Because when we put it back in, it's not going to match. So, we have to undo this. Okay, there's still another problem. <laughs> this tray doesn't allow it to meet up with the actual thing. So, we're going to take that back out. These are the kind of troubleshooting steps that you have to pay attention to. So, it can't be mounted dead center, it has to be mounted off to the side. Which means only two of the screws are going to be able to go in, which is fine. This thing doesn't weigh anything. Okay, the reason why I say this thing don't weigh anything because you can fling it around with one screw and it won't move. So let's try this again. I mounted it to the wrong side.
All right, here we go, powering it up. It's actually checking for, oh, it's starting a PV4 automatically, nice. Okay, so that means that secure boot was turned on. We have to go turn that off. So let's get into BIOS. All right, so security, secure boot config. Yes, we want to change it. Legacy support enabled. We're going to clear the key and accept. Apply and exit. And then it should retry automatically on the boot. Disable, enable, F10 to accept. We're going to clear the key, F10 to accept. Okay. Network boot is already on. UFI. That's already on. There we go. Seven three seven zero. Enter. Now it'll legacy boot. Okay. And now we jump past this part because I've shown you all this before. And we all know how Windows install works. <laughs> 